Hey guys, Brilliant here, and in this video we're going to create uh, this uh, to iOS uh, UIs uh, in Figma. Now we're going to leverage uh, an amazing UI kit which uh, you can find on UI8 but uh, you can find a very similar one for free on Apple's website. So this uh, is very easy to replicate uh, and uh, it's going to enable you to learn a lot of tips and tricks uh, in Figma, especially the recent ones. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're back in Figma and the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to select a frame. Let's go under iPhone and we're going to select, to select the iPhone 11 Pro and we're going to rename the frame to one. So let's get started from the very top where we're going to add a basic rectangle. And before we continue, we're going to create a layout grid in order to uh, basically have uh, two columns uh, as our base and uh, let's add just a little bit of margin over just like this <clears throat> and this is going to basically guide us uh, through the creation of this uh, UI. So let's go ahead and also let's change the color of this uh, grid right here since uh, it's a little bit too um, just a, a little bit too intense and I want to kind of have the grid but I don't want it to make a, a really big visual impact as uh, since it's going to basically uh, create problems as we're designing since we're not going to be able to see exactly what we're doing. Now following that we want the top level menu and I'm going to use this iOS uh, UI kit uh, which I recently downloaded uh, and uh, that you can find on UI8, but it's also available something similar on Apple's website. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and find uh, a top level menu. Maybe it's uh, here under the components. And uh, basically when it comes to the basic uh, iOS uh, uh, elements, uh, you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but you want to leverage uh, something around these lines where basically you can easily just uh, select uh, the top level menus and then uh, essentially go from there by having a proven structure <laughs> if you wish. And we'll also need uh, the <clears throat> status bar just like this one right here. Let's go ahead and add that one as well. I'm going to center it and bring it all the way to the top. And there we have uh, our section. So we're going to write here details and uh, here we're going to write uh, um, e-commerce or actually let's just write back and done. Yeah, we, we can easily just keep that and uh, let's uh, take this uh, uh, text right here. Let's bring it down and we're going to add uh, the description of uh, the main product which uh, we're going to find uh, uh, by simply going uh, over here and uh, good old Google and we're going to Google Nike and uh, let's find a shoe which is going to look good overall or actually let's go with uh, Easy's since uh, they are really popular these days. Let's go with the white maybe. Um, yep, this one would do the job. <laughs> All right, so we got our easies. Wow, that's a big one. And let's uh, just remove this in the background. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to make a white, I'm going to use stroke and uh, Let's go over here, 1.5. And uh, I think uh, this one will do. All right. So we have our, our good uh, shoe <laughs> over here. And uh, now let's uh, add uh, some, uh, actually let's, let's go ahead and maybe let's try and grab some, some text or something since we don't really want to reinvent the wheel and I don't really recall exactly how these are called. So there we go. Triple white. Uh, 
It looks like a ice cream, cream triple white. I guess that was done on purpose. So, all right. And uh, we're going to add uh, some other elements below. And maybe let's, let's go back uh, on this you like it. And again, guys, you can find like similar you like it. It doesn't necessarily need to be exactly the same as long as you get like the basic uh, um, understanding and the basic uh, um, feeling. So here we go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add uh, um, the conditions and stuff like that. So I'm going to write new. And let's add some more data which could be useful. Um, such as number ID. And this one right here. And let's add one more set of data. 100% uh, authentic. I'm going to make this one uh, green, uh, similarly to what uh, we saw in that uh, um, element. So there we go. And let's add uh, a line right here. Right, here's the line. Let's change the color. This one. And probably let's add uh, one line below. There we go. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to add these two buttons right here. So in order to not really go like back and forth, I'm just going to grab a, a quick screenshot and uh, kind of have them as a reference right below. And when it comes to the buttons, I'm going to want to just go back uh, over here and figure out uh, a set uh, of, uh, or actually a, a basic button, and then I'm going to modify it uh, essentially in order to fit uh, my needs. So here we have our, our basic buttons. Let's go over here and uh, let's write uh, or actually let's let's do something i'm going to duplicate this delete the master um detach the instance and just detach oh okay let's see what was going on over there i just want to create uh, like a separate button so since the background is within the frame uh, so i'm going to create another one uh, right here i'm going to match uh, <coughs> the uh, roundedness at the borders and then I'm going to go back here and frame it and uh, that's going to enable us to have both the text and the rectangle so let's change the color to this one right here and I'm going to use a uh, um, by button or a by text and uh, we're going to have uh, the um, amount by for same dollars, 657. Let's duplicate this one right here and let's bring it down a notch. And let's uh, Let's bring it all the way here. All right. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. All right. Let's bring it here. Let's bring, uh, let's center these uh, 
and this part. All right, so far so good. Now let's change the color of this guy right here. Maybe something like that. And this one, of course, is going to be cell. And let's just change the value of this. All right, so we have our basic button. I would like to make it just a little bit smaller. So as you can see, we can easily also change the values and the options of the original as well. It's nothing that really um, impedes us to do that. We're going to change also the, the value of this button right here. Oh, actually, let's just change it back since I think it's gonna work uh, better overall. overall. And uh, is there some sort of description that we can leverage? Um, let's try and go another site. Uh, nothing here, but we ain't gonna stop there. Okay, same website. Okay, whatever. Let's just uh, add uh, a description by using lorem ipsum. And I'm using a text in order to add this uh, description right here very fast. Um, and uh, let's just make it uh, go all the way down. And I'm probably going to just leave it at that. Make it light gray or something. And uh, here we have uh, our basic uh, screen. So I think we're in a good position right now and uh, probably want to have uh, a, another screen which uh, is going to serve us as the setting screen. So let's go over here, let's duplicate this. And as you can see, the shoot didn't, uh, um, uh, wasn't duplicated within the screen. This is simply because it's outside of the frame. So in order to fix that, it's pretty simple. We simply put the shoe back in the frame. Now let's go ahead uh, over here. And let's uh, find uh, some uh, basic templates and uh, that we can essentially serve uh, in order to not reinvent the wheel. And this uh, I'm doing uh, purposely in order to show you that, some, that sometimes you don't even need to uh, design stuff because uh, why would you design something which is already a very strong uh, UX uh, pattern um, and that the user is already familiar with? So, okay, we, we don't really uh, see any like specific setting screen, but what I was looking for is any, any sort of element which uh, is going to, um, which the user is already familiar with that you can leverage, such as this one right here. I mean, this is not really a setting screen. This is those overlays that uh, you find in iOS, but uh, I'm just going to bring it over here and uh, I'm going to try and uh, resize it in order to make it fit. And there we go. So, all right. Um, one thing that I want to kind of like check on is this drop shadow. I do have a stroke here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. See what what's going on over here. So let's go with adding uh, this uh, stroke right right here in all of these elements. And as you can see, we can have, uh, we can also like duplicate the, the style right here. So we're going to have uh, this element fixed. And as you can see, we already had also some uh, um, strokes, which we want to, which we don't necessarily want. All right, 
and here we're going to write uh, um, profile. We're going to change this one. Actually, let's remove the first one. Uh, we're going to write over here closing um, development. So we're just making up some uh, um, attributes here. Uh, customization. Um, I'm going to write here, or actually the logout is going to be at the very bottom. And uh, we're going to have uh, right here um, settings relevant to the delivery. Um, and this one's going to be up and then log out. All right, so we have uh, our basic uh, setting screen and uh, we're going to write uh, something at the very bottom, such as uh, um, if you encounter any bugs or have uh, specific problems, please write to the development myapps.com just making this one up and we're going to change this uh, to a hyperlink and make it semi bold all right so far so good so i will simply leave it cleaner um, as it is so sometimes you don't need to add uh, like much when it comes to the overall uh, design. Just going to remove uh, this line right here. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much set and uh, ready to move on. So really hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, Figma tutorial. And if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next video.